terms of, well, if we do join the Axis later, we're gonna have powerful allies, it seems. Even though Germany was se seemingly, seemingly set to crash and burn, but they've recovered, as they always do. Yeah, now we've, we do have our equipment situation pretty much under control, so I'm gonna just buy a roll against Turkey. Uh, this day is gonna be fun. And how long is it gonna take? 125 days. We also want to increase our infrastructure in Afghanistan. And once we're at 50 factories, we will be able to call Paris. France is capitulated. Once we're at 50 factories, we'll be able to take the national focus to get a second research, or rather a fourth research slot. It's gonna be awesome. Now, I definitely want my Air Force base. There is construction out here. I definitely want my air base to be top for priority in the line. It's gonna take a couple weeks to complete. Because I do believe the Turks do have an air force, but hey, I can at least try to harass them from the air. Yet, apparently they have an air force. They don't appear to have any air bases around here, but they're probably gonna have air bases around here. In terms of air zones, is it one zone? Yeah, it's eight or nine. Well, that's gonna be fine. So support equipment is the only thing we lack, so I'm gonna actually switch over more production to it. in the Eastern Front, it looks like the Soviets have actually wanted completely the initial German assault, and now they're making a counter offensive which is like into German Poland. That's really good for them, not really good for me, because I'm gonna be looking to be their friend. Ooh! Ooh! What the hell? Yeah, there's some fighting going on in Syria because of the, um, Etat Francais Releasement. And now there's South Africa, it looks like, that's attacking uh, the bitchy held sort of Syria. Kind of wish it would just declare independence and I'd be able to take him over, but hey, can't have everything. And how about we go for special forces? That will definitely be good for me, so perhaps I will be learning from organization if there's. And maybe later I'll be going for the Saddam and the War Dukes, but I'm not really sure about that. I mean, we're probably not going to be able to get one anyway, uh, ever, basically, but hey, we can try. And Turkey is not going to be easy. Turkey is not going to be easy. Our estimates, eh, they're probably pretty bad. Because in terms of electronics, uh, I doubt Turkey does have a lot of. I doubt Turkey has a lot of corruption, but we definitely don't have any, so we might just be very wrong. So the Tsarstvo has capitulated uh, from Romania, actually, and Leon Trotsky was assassinated. Unfortunate. Ice pick in the head. Rip, rip, rip. 
So yeah, it looks like Romanian troops, possibly supported by the Soviets, have managed to... Whoa, peace conference. So that was actually the Winter War finishing, and peace... Please. Suomen Kansan Tavasal. What the fuck is that supposed to be? I finish so much. Um, was released in their puppet of the Soviets, led by Aimo Altonen. That's simple enough, I hope. And there's also Estonia still alive, finally enough. And looks like Sweden is still neutral, democratic uh, support. So they might. I mean, they're neutral foreign policy, so I don't think they'll be um, drawn into the war. Denmark looks like it's, it's in the war uh, with the Allies, yeah, because they're social democratic. And Hungary is on the verge of losing Budapest, so that is not exactly the best thing for it. I would definitely love to take over Oman, but... I would have to research landing craft and even then make a risky sort of attempt to take over Muscat, the capital, because it's essentially only one. I mean, I don't have marines, but I might be able to research them, especially if I do get uh, the special forces bonus. But, eh. Other infantry division is complete. In terms of equipment, it seems like we are at least even. Uh, now we'll be starting to be, be actually over our infantry equipment and over our artillery um, requirement, we actually have 214 light tanks. Would we take the light tanks from Iran? Um, doesn't appear like we know where they came from. That's very weird. Now, actually, uh, there's a few of my divisions that are green for some reason, so I'll be taking those. I'll actually be taking all these divisions that aren't regulars, and I'll be giving them a new commander. No, not you. So let's look at let's actually look at our general. He's a De Desert Fox Mountaineer, skill six, Nur al Din al Himsi. So he's a pretty good guy. And now we're gonna have a new commander. General is Haq al Baghdadi. Can I rename rename generals? Please tell me I can rename generals. Nah, doesn't look like it. That is unfortunate. I would have renamed them Abu Bakr al Baghdadi because I'm a fucking humorless cunt, pretty much. And we're gonna assign you to you and assign you to you. Soviet Union is expanding in Europe, apparently. And I want some planning bonus to be available to me. Now, yeah. Definitely want my troops to be as ready as possible. Now this, these guys are pretty much completely trained, so I'll assign them to the other army. Now once these support weapons are finished, I'll be going for... These are 1942 actually, so now... So once the support weapons are finished, what do we look for now? Radio and actually no field hospital right. I forgot about the field hospital. It's very important that I actually get this as quickly as possible because well casualties are rough uh, as a rock because we don't really have that many don't really have that many men. So we're gonna want that as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna need motorized equipment for that to be the, the case. Now, we could be producing some motorized, we don't really have that much rubber, so we're gonna have some fairly slow production on that. We can actually make variants of motorized, but that's, uh, you know, not really the most important thing. Do we have motorized divisions? Yes, we do. Um, they're not very good. Well, we're gonna be waiting on them. Uh, if we do get... Break down country, please. Yeah. And also, we've got probably a surplus of artillery, so I will be going for the extra artillery on our Mountaineers, which is going to give us not only a manpower shortage, but a shortage of artillery as well. So we'll be going for the increased production of artillery, definitely. In terms of support equipment, we're, we're going to be ready in about a month of extra production, and in terms of infantry, just a few more days. 
definitely want to actually include a few um, light tanks in my motorized division because, well, we've got 214 free tanks, so we might as well use them. Now for a new law, we could be going for service by requirement because we do need more manpower. Uh, I don't really like that though. It's gonna decrease our factory output and production speed and increase our training time, which is definitely not what we want to have. So tank design. We're gonna be waiting as much as possible to get a new manpower law. And you also need to exercise because you're not regular as Now, Germany looks like uh, they're actually getting pushed back fairly hard in a bit of a sort of double envelopment out here. Uh, their troops in Polesia uh, and Brezhnevsk are getting kind of encircled by Soviets advancing from both sides. So that's not good, too good for them. Now, looks like the Germans are starting to push into Republican Spain as well. Uh, they've crossed the Pyrenees, which are the main natural border uh, of Spain, so I do think Spain is kind of fucked now. The British Expeditionary Force in Italy is still having, is still holding on to Bologna, uh, so hey, uh, maybe my... nah, nah, I'll not go there. This is where I live, in case you don't know, uh, this city right here. So essentially, they're gonna be still be a bit of a nuisance to Italy, but nothing more actually. So it looks like the British are... Yeah, the British are justifying against us. They're going for unknown focus, but it's very likely that it is. Let's go over here, secure Iraq. Because we have more than 20% support of uh, the Golden Square, which is their fascist party. So they're going for this, and they're going to get a conquer focus against us. So we don't exactly want that to happen. If, I'm doubting that they will get their war on us because they're already. They're already World War II, which would at least, you know, I think, kind of reduce their uh, willingness to go to war with random people, but we never know. Now, I'm going for research for the hospital. Artillery upgrade is definitely also very important because we have a lot of artillery in our army. It's our main sort of uh, damage dealing component to our troops, so we want that to happen. We want them to be as powerful as possible. The war against Turkey will likely be a very positional war. I mean, with all the mountains there are, I sincerely doubt the I sincerely doubt that the Estado Español, okay, fine. I sincerely doubt that they will be uh, sort of allowing us to move in very quick fashion. And now, can I be training that with the British Raj? No. Um, aluminum definitely is sort of short on supplies. Now, the Soviet Union looks like the best candidate for some aluminum trade. And yeah, we're starting to run out of manpower. Not exactly the best thing possible, but hey. We actually are over the uh, limit of our first general. Because we do have more than 24 divisions. So the justification is finished. We have until January to actually act upon it. And I do fully intend to wait as much as possible. I'll stop the exercise and I'll get them. Yeah, as you can see, it's one division too many. Uh, I'll get this one division and I'll give them the other general. And I'll assign them. No, fuck you. Shut the fuck up. I'll assign them the other general and I will give them the same front line. And 
I will give them a offensive line. So hopefully we'll be as ready as possible. Now we definitely require more artillery and that's going to be a main focus for us to get more artillery uh, going. In terms of inf infantry equipment, we're going to be running out as soon as we enter Turkey because there's going to be a lot of uh, malnutrition. Now, I will actually reduce the production of support equipment by a lot. And I want a little bit of it to go into uh, artillery and I want a little bit of it to go into infantry. Because definitely we're going to need more infantry equipment. So we're going to build up a nice stockpile of it. And eventually we're going to be wanting to research tanks, just so we can get uh, tanks as a template. Uh, and get them in our army. Republica Populores. Okay, so it looks like communist Albania capitulated to the Italians. But here to the rescue comes Romania, actually. Which is probably Romania plus Soviet troops anyway. And it looks like it encircled the little pocket of Germans down here, along with the remnants of Slavia. Actually, the Germans are being pushed back by Republican Spain. Somehow. Um, maybe they have Soviet troops on their soil? Not, cer not really certain of that, but that's possible. Now, it looks like he thinks that the enemy is inferior, but of course we don't have any encryption, so he doesn't really know. So I'm not sure why he thinks that. And yeah, once we start the war, we will not have the, os the hospital yet, but we're at we'll actually just sit tight and we'll wait until we have the hospital ready. Because I definitely want that to be uh, in our army. I want the field hospitals to be ready. How long will it take to actually reduce the artillery shortage? A couple of uh, months, so that's not too bad. And I really hope that the Allies decide to stay out of it. I mean, they haven't, um, they haven't uh, guaranteed the independence, so I don't think they will declare war on me. So let's go. They're actually attacking us, which is just excellent because, well, it's gonna make them lose a lot of men. They actually do have a huge amount of troops on the border. They're actually definitely ready compared to uh, other countries that we've attacked. Special Forces is going to be our next. Oh, we do actually have the airbase, so I'm not sure why I haven't gotten them over to Mosul. And they'll be going over Asia Minor, where the enemy do have planes, so unfortunately they will be contesting us. I wonder what kind of fighters. Uh, we definitely want to actually fighters in production then. Uh, eventually we're gonna have enough factories for that. We're gonna stick to our side of the border and we're gonna just w let them wear themselves out if we want to attack. As you can see our divisions have a huge attack value, uh, base attack value, and their divisions are actually very weak so that's why they have so many troops because they don't really have that many ready now. It's gonna take us two months to get the hospital so we can maybe do some sort of secondary attacks like in very exposed part of, parts of the line. Actually, no. This is a really good encirclement area. So we'll actually bring over these mountaineers. I'll bring them over here. And I'll be making attacks through here. Yeah, looks like these divisions can't really stand against the might of Iraq. Clearly. And I'll be attempting to make some very local attacks and just very small encirclements happen. So the Soviet Union has an S10 Uduba. <laughs> I just noticed that the uh, sort of OK button to make it go away was Tanu what? <laughs> That's fucking funny though. That is really fucking funny. Because Tanu Tuba, poor Tanu Tuba, they're never recognized by anyone as a real country. 
We still want to be in our faction, but no, we don't want that to be the case, because if we were in the Axis, then the entirety of the British Army would fall upon us. That would not be good. So a couple of Turkish, Turkish divisions were encircled and annihilated, which is excellent for us. And we're almost out of manpower, which means that the next manpower law, or rather, uh, the next law that we pass will be manpower, definitely. And we also definitely need that hospital. So far, it's going very well. We actually cost 50,000 casualties and cost 1,000, which is good. And I mean, TDA ratio isn't ripping in war, but it helps. It helps. No, I don't want you to be that retarded. I want you to be in that way retarded. Good. So our troops will be still planning. Sort of the um, advantage of this is essentially we're going to be um, at full planning when we uh, do make our main assault. And in terms of air force, it looks like our fighters are being shot down slowly uh, but surely support planes, so that's not good. We've also got sort of anti rocket artillery. Ooh, I want that. I'll be going for more normal artillery, but then I might want to go with rocket artillery eventually. I've never gone for rocket artillery in Hearts of Iron 4, so I definitely want to be trying that. Now this lake over here, I'm not sure what the name of this lake is, but this lake is our friend. Because we're going to be able to push through over here um, and not uh, basically have the lake protect our flank. And what I want to do is push from this province and also from the lake and surround this area of Turkey. Now the Turks are definitely throwing their men away in futile assaults. Look at the casualties they're suffering. They definitely will not be uh, too happy with that and eventually they'll have to probably increase their conscription because they are, well, we have a lot more men than we do. And I will not be attacking until I have that fuel hospital um, ready. And now uh, one main problem is I think that um, the field hospital has a requirement to have motorized. So I'll be wanting to produce some motorized as soon as possible. Actually I'll uh, stop the production of infantry equipment because we've, we've already got a fairly decent stockpile. We've got, yeah, we need rubber for the extra motorized, but that's fine. We're going to be working on that as soon as possible. Denmark has capitulated. So it looks like the Soviets have actually managed to encircle some German troops, and they're going for Brest-Litovsk uh, over here, so that might be good for the Soviets. And it looks like the thrust down here in uh, sort of the... Montenegro area was defeated by the Axis, and they have managed to regain control of that sort of area. Actually, there was a landing, so France now patrols Normandy again, so Normandy landing is like three years early. Interesting. Very interesting. Not here, it looks like the Turks have realized that, well, maybe it's not a good idea to waste their infantry in futile assaults against fortified mountain positions, but eh, eh, you know. Against mountaineers, no less. I don't know. Really weird AI sometimes. Yeah, our estimates have fallen down on the amount of enemy division, but hey, uh, field hospital will be completed in the bottom line. And then we can make our grand offensive to defeat the enemy. Naval AA attack? That is supremely useless. I'll be going for service by requirement, which it hurts, but we have to do it. 260,000 manpower. Now, I'll actually be um, getting away this line of mountaineers, because later I'll be training motorized and armored divisions. Special Forces is available, which is good, but then what I would want to do is probably aviation effort. Now it looks like Japan is doing very well in Asia. Uh, they are almost, uh, they've almost arrived in Bengal and uh, modern-day Bangladesh. 
taken over pretty much all of Burma. Uh, the British only have one little enclave left there over here, so um, that's good for us. The British looks like have attempted a landing in China in one go, but they were also uh, surrounded and defeated. Over here in uh, Guangdong, though, they're doing much better, and they've captured this naval base. They've also made a landing in uh, Taiwan. And actually, the Japanese are at war with the Soviet Union as well because they're in the Axis. So, um, they've taken Vladivostok and now they're pushing into Siberia up to Baikal. That's gonna be a fairly monumental struggle for the Soviet Union, in fact. And then there's just random Iraq. Praise Iraq. We're just waiting for that hospital. Because we need it. And over here we're at advanced fire bases, but then we're gonna have shock and awe complete, and that's gonna be very good because, well, as you can see our army is fairly superior to just random people, which is gonna be excellent. Now we could be going for the extra line of uh, rather support companies, but I'm gonna be going for radios and then for uh, decryption tech. Now what does that company require? The field hospital? It requires motorized. Yes, it does require motorized. So I'll be adding it to my infantry. And I'll actually be adding, adding it to my mountaineers as well. That will skyrocket our new for motorized. Because, of course, that's actually ambulances, which makes a lot of sense. We need 600. Oh, God. Yeah, it's going to take forever to gain. Which is not exactly the best. But that's going to be good. Um, because what this does, what the uh, hospital does, if you go to the template, is it increases um, the, it doesn't do anything in terms of like combat stats, but what it does is it gives us something called trickle back modifier, or at least, at least it was called trickle back modifier in the previous Hearts of Iron games, I'm not sure if it's still called like that. Yeah, trickle back. Essentially, uh, once it's going to be in effect, uh, we're going to regain losses. Uh, basically, when a manpower unit is lost, there's going to be uh, a chance that it goes back into our manpower pool instead of just disappearing. Which is exactly what we want to happen. We want reinforcements to be prioritized, so that's good. That's good, good, good. And the lack of rubber is also not exactly helping us because it's reducing our production efficiency by a great deal. And over here, the Soviet Union has actually pushed into East Russia very greatly. They've taken over uh, Königsberg, aka now Kaliningrad, considering it's ultimately by the Soviet Union. And they've also pushed into Hungary a little bit, but they're still kind of stalemating around the area, so that's good for them, I guess. And it looks like the D-Day landings have retaken Paris, so that's very interesting. Uh, in terms of national, or rather in terms of Spain, still fairly even fighting. And the UK has taken over all of Northern Italy, and they're also starting to come from the back into Vichy France, or the Vietnam France, and now they actually are kind of pincering in the Germans in Western France, which is very interesting. In the East, Japan has made a pretty big breakthrough, it looks like, in Shita, uh, uh, whatever this air region of Russia is called. I believe this is actually a uh, uh, Jewish oblast, I'm not sure. Now, out here, I'm definitely not sure as to what I should be researching. Perhaps Great War Tank, perhaps the uh, support companies. This will increase our entrenchment and this will increase our reconnaissance. This will increase our trouble back. Now, yes, I want to research the companies. Definitely. Random Germany is pushing down. And it looks like Thailand is now fascist, but that's Thai, and they're fighting alongside the Japanese. Uh, so it looks like in Singapore, or in Malaya, the Japanese are starting to make their assault. They've also... Whoa. Oh, right! Right, 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 because the uh, Netherlands were puppeted by Germany, and now the colonies are uh, belonging to the German puppet, so they're also, they're also fighting going on down here. And the Japanese have actually invaded uh, Papua New Guinea, over uh, that region, but 
themselves, but not exactly perhaps the best decision, considering, well, I'm guessing they're going to be fighting the U.S. Navy in the Middle East uh, soon enough. The U.S. still seems to be neutral, but they've sent um, guarantees to almost everyone. Looks like this is just a Monroe Doctrine nation. We're at 14 civilian factories, that's excellent. And after we're at 15, we're going to be producing some uh, military factories. That's going to be good for us. Increase our production of motorized. Now, some of our divisions already have uh, motorized for the hospitals. In terms of support equipment, we're still kind of low, so yeah, it's going to last about a month. I believe we can make our events. So we're gonna do our main thrust. It's gonna be directed at this area of the front. We're gonna leave one division behind in every province we advance into because I don't think our barracks will be too much of a um, danger. So over here we're gonna be facing looks like four Turkish divisions, and over here six Turkish divisions. But they're very; these ones are very low on strength. I'm not really sure if it's equipment strength or um, manpower strength. These ones are actually very low as well, so yeah, it's very bad for them. Very good for me. Now out here, I definitely want fighter focus. And no, over here I don't want that to happen. I want a diversionary assault down here. And what I will want to do later on is assign some more orders to them. Now this assault is going very well for us. I'm gonna leave behind two divisions to protect this area. Whereas these more these other divisions will be continuing going forward. Now that is not something that is not too great is the fact that they're moving some troops down here to protect their flanks, and I want to cut them off as quickly as possible. So it looks like two divisions that we will not be destroying, but that's you know, just the normal problems. Looks like they have modified their divisions a little bit, and they're a little bit better, but they're still kind of pathetic compared to our troops. Which is awesome, because, well, we need them to be as weak as possible. Really, uh... Down here, we actually have a lot of divisions that are in reserves, because, well... We don't really have that many um, radio techs. We're starting to research radio just now, and we definitely don't have signal companies. So that's not going to be good for us in terms of uh, reinforcement rate. Out here, I want that switcheroni to happen. So it looks like one of my divisions will be easily able to push through. They'll be likely coming under attack. So radio is complete. Excellent. I want more mechanical computing to happen. Increase our research speed and also to allow us a lot more um, encryption later on. Now, I hate the AI sometimes. Um, so that did not go too well. So I'll make a sort of better assault over here. This will be much better for us because of the combat width. Now these divisions, some of them will be going through here, some of them will be going through here. Actually no, it will be the other way around. The mountain troops will be going like that. And the normal infantry will be going in the desert. Perhaps not the soundest military strategy, but hey. Out here we will be continuing our push. Like this. That's definitely gonna attrition our equipment off a little bit, but that's just a you know secondary thing. We're gonna be destroying this pocket of four divisions, which is fine enough. 
we're going to be reorganizing our lines as soon as possible. That attack is very ill-advised. No, no, not to Germany, please. No. Okay, excellent. Now, this pocket is completely uh, reduced. And we have a much better front now. Uh, the next priority is going to be to encircle these troops. So I'm going to uh, reinforce my stuff a little bit. Because, well, we've lost a lot of equipment, and so we need to uh, wait until our troops are reinforced. And then we're going to be charging through, making some more maneuvers. It's going to be a, a war that's going to be taken slowly, because we have time. And, yeah, we don't have men. And time saves men, I guess. It looks like the Normandy landings were repulsed, and also the British Expeditionary Force who may finally meet its end in Northern Italy and Northern rather Southeastern France. But down here, Slavia is being still pushed fairly hard, and now the Soviets have pushed completely into Hungary. They've annexed Hungary. A lot of it was given action to Romania, um, which is, well, I'm sure, nice for Romania. And now they're starting to push actually to Vienna, so that's really good for them. Warsaw is also pretty much in the reach, and as well Krakow. And also Gdansk, or Danzig, if you're German. So it looks like the Soviet Union will definitely come out on top. Uh, not exactly sure if uh, that will continue to be the case, but it does definitely look like the Soviet Union is doing much better than the Western Allies right now. I wonder how many troops they actually have. Uh, yeah, a whole load of troops. They have up to 750 divisions. That is a huge amount. And then later they will probably turn around and bitch slap Japan as well. With those 700 divisions. I wonder if I attack the Allies, will the Soviets attack me as well? Because they're in the common turn. Technically they're the common turn, so they will not be going after us. Now... Yeah, the Allies do start to have a lot of stuff out here. I'm actually going to offer this... Mm, I can't even offer them military access because they just eat me so much. I've actually got two more divisions, which is excellent. And I'll be assigning them to the assault. Now our... Planning is going to be maxed out soon enough, and our equipments are back on track now. Aviation effort two is going to be fine, but hmm, yeah. Soon, I'll, soon enough, I'll have the second research slot, but I'll be going for. Yeah, I'll go for aviation for two, I guess. I'll be boring like that. Warsaw is being encircled, actually. And modifying the government will not be too important right now. Light aircraft, perhaps? Yeah, light aircraft, I believe. I do believe I'll actually be leaving now. I've recorded it, all of this in one sitting, actually. What the shit? Well, yeah, I do believe this is the end of the part, and I'll see you guys soon.